If you recently felt pride listening to the Indian national anthem and our very own tricolors being hoisted at the Olympics, well, you are no stranger to, to today's topic. The Olympics was founded in Greece about 3000 years ago, but that's different from what we do today. What we do today is called the Modern Olympics, which was started in the 19th century, precisely at 1896. The Modern Olympics was revived and remade in 1896. The most recent Olympics had about 206 countries, which personally doesn't make any sense to me. Aren't there only 195 countries in the world? I don't understand how this works. Could you please tell me in the comment section down below? However, in the first edition of the modern Olympics, there were only 12 countries. So you can see how much improvement has happened. In the latest edition of the Olympics in Japan, over 11,656 athletes participated. 340 events in 33 sports took place. And USA came first place overall with more than 100 trophies. India came around 48th with a respectable seven medals, one of which being gold, four being silver and the rest being bronze. Neera Chopra won the gold in javelin throw. He belongs to a town called Panipat and he threw the javelin a whopping 87 meters, completely blowing the opposition out of the ground. A queer thing was, whenever Russia won a medal, they won several in fact, the flag wasn't displayed, nor was their anthem sunk. Why is this? There was a three-letter display, ROC. This was because Russia is banned from participating in any event from the Olympics of 2020 to the FIFA of 2022. Russia was found cheating and doping the games and the International Sports Committee banned them. Hence, they have to enter under a name, the Russian Olympics Committee, instead of their own country's name. In the Paralympics, the Olympics for the different, differently abled, China claimed about 207 medals, which is a lot. India placed twice as best, coming in 24th with a respectable 19 medals, five of which were gold. The gold came from several sports, from badminton to pistol shooting. What diversity! Russia again had to register to the Paralympics under the name RPC. If you didn't guess it, it was the Russian Paralympics Committee. It takes a great lot of dedication, four years just to qualify to the Olympics, leave win a medal. To express his gratitude, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi personally greeted all the winners from the Olympics and the Paralympics personally on their return from Japan. My heartfelt congratulations to all the winners in, from the Olympics and the Paralympics. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, I have my exams going on now, so I apologize for the break between the uploads.